Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Let's Play of The Lies of P. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am, and today we're going to continue our adventure through the city of Krat. But before we do, let's go ahead and talk about everything I did off screen. And I did quite a few things. Number one, I went ahead and I leveled up. So those are my stats. And then I put on a couple of different amulets here. And number two, I forgot a quartz way back in the Malum district now i think i got it in my prior character that i had for recording so that really doesn't matter recording wise but i just wanted to let everybody know i went back and got that quartz so we're gonna go put that into our p organ and yeah that that's about all i did oh and one other thing before we go up there to our p organ we never went and got a new weapon for our... A great weapon. Um, killing the Puppet King. We're just going to go ahead and get a weapon. I'm probably going to go through New Game Plus and grab the amulets the next go around. I think this character here is going to end up being my main playthrough now instead of my old character. I don't know. I'm just liking the feel of this character a little more. Go over here to the P organ. And then over here. Was it over here that we were going to... Yes, this one I, I really want to get. Unless. Oh, we can't get one over here. Never mind. Oh, never mind. Increase pulse cells. Yeah, we're going to use that. The next one will. Uh... Oh, my goodness. Calm down there, game. I don't know which one to get either increase cube uses or adds a belt slot. I may do the belt slot. One other thing I want to do, because eventually I am going to want to use it, is this. Oh, I can't change it out here. Oh well, doesn't matter. Not that big of a deal. Let's go ahead and go over to the Grand Exhibition. Just noticed I still have my dagger on. Oh well, I have my uh, main sword on, so that's all that matters. We're just gonna climb this really quick. We'll see what kind of boss we have. Um, and we'll, oh, wow, I missed an item. Go figure. Um, depending on if we survive or die is if, uh, I'll switch out the dagger. Let's see what the boss is first. Welcome to my grave. 
is where evolution becomes real. Feel me. I am victor. The champion! Oh god, no! Holy moly, he just came out the gate trying to run for me. Woo. Not sure this dagger is going to work. He just went all Bane on us, man.
I'm surprised you defeated Victor. Geppetto's creations are truly marvelous. Ah, but where are my manners? My name is Simon Manus, a leader among alchemists. I've known your father for a long time. We used to be colleagues, you know. Geppetto didn't understand that the petrification disease can strengthen humankind. Locks into conventional thinking, I'm afraid. But even he can't stop such a magnificent discovery. It's the door to a new world. You've seen this place with your own eyes. Truly inspiring, is it not? What do you suppose our cure has created here? You're short-sighted, just like your father. But you speak the truth as you see it, just like everyone else. We, on the other hand, are visionaries. We understand the petrification disease on a deeper level. The disease does not signify death. It's the process of purifying a person's essence. A purified human who overcomes the petrification disease will gain a strengthened body and a mind free of lies. The essence is ergo. Yes. The ergo you use as your power was once a human being. Our undertaking is to help others experience this purification through this elixir. Truly, it's an honor. Ergo's power can do even more. In the hands of the Awakened, its abilities are limitless. We already have the means to control that power. Power beyond your imagination. So while you wallow in a pathetic past, we step forward into humanity's future on the Isle of Alchemists. You're welcome to come to the island and witness our triumph firsthand. Or perhaps you'll make a futile effort to stop us. Ah, <sighs> maybe the Santa statue can help you. In any case, good luck. Standing against evolution must be exhausting. Not to mention demoralizing. Keep your chin up, puppet. And I'll see you soon. No one can say that Simon Manus, leader of the alchemists, isn't hospitable. Damn, that fight was something else. So before we go any further in there, I want to go over to where this key he just gave us is, which I believe is just up here. This was not lit up. I don't think this was lit up as much earlier. Oh, wow. That's cool. I, I really like that uh, statue. It, it looks like there is a puppet on there. Hey, Sophia, what are you doing here? Sorry to startle you. It 
seems that the power of the listener within me, the power to hear Ergo, is getting stronger. It's powerful enough to send not only my voice, but even illusions. Maybe it's because of the power of this Saint Tess statue. I came to you because I wanted to tell you about Simon. The terrible things he does. I should have told you about Simon earlier. But it's the sort of thing you have to see to believe. He is the most dangerous man in Krat. He spreads mayhem and death for a delusion he calls evolution. Simon wants to evolve a new world in Krat. A horrible future, even worse than the disasters we already face. That's why I woke you up. If you can't save Krat from Simon, no one can. Find the Isle of Alchemists. Someone must know how to get there. I will help as much as I can, of course. Please, save Krat. Whatever choice you make, I shall wait for you. That is why I'm the listener. To bear witness. I've always wondered why I'm a listener. Why this power came to me. In this time and place. But now I understand. Ergo reached out. Wanting someone to hear it was once human. Or maybe... It wanted someone to remember it. Perhaps a god or an angel. Who knows? But the alchemists have tainted everything. The gold coin tree is a pathetic creature they created from the listeners. Like many of their creations, it's tragic, but useful. You can control Ergo with gold coin fruits. The sad tears of those who became trees. If they get the chance, the alchemists might force me to make such a tree for them. Or something even more tragic. Don't let the sacrifice of the alchemists' victims be in vain. With the fruit, they lend their strength to you. Collect gold coin fruits, and let the Saintess statue inspire you to victory. You honor their sacrifice, their grief, and tears. Petrification disease. Puppet Frenzy and Carcass Monsters don't happen by chance. They're all related to Ergo. Ergo is the essence of life made from the petrification disease. It contains the memories and distilled lifespan of the victim. That's why puppets sometimes awaken their old selves or describe someone else's memories. Simon coveted Ergo's power, and he noticed that the process of curing the petrification disease could also create enhanced humans. Krat became a city of monsters and petrification disease because of Simon's terrible experiments. The King of Puppets tried to stop Simon, but he didn't do well either. Now, our only hope is you. Save Krat from this nightmare. Can she level us up? Whatever choice you make. Yeah, she can level us up from here. Oh, this device must be powered by gold coin fruit. A new life for an old puppet. That's cool. We could have done that at the gold coin tree, though, too. I don't get it. Why have two? We gotta go talk to that chick again, too, and let her know that um, we cleared the way. I don't remember exactly how to get back to her, but... 
Let's switch out our weapon. And I never used my puppet string, man. I should have used my puppet string on um, Victor. That probably would have been a really cool fight. I mean, it was already a really cool fight, but just using the puppet string would have been even cooler. All right, we're going to run right past you guys. I don't have time for you. She's up there. So, no, that would be going... Let's go this way. By the way, I do have a talisman on that gives me more ergo for every enemy that I kill. I highly recommend that um, amulet. If you can wear it, that is. Like, if it's not making you too heavy. I actually had to put a uh, weight amulet on. Guess we need to go this way. That lady better be there. Hop down right here. And she's gone. Of course she's gone. <laughs> Let's go um, to the most recent uh, Stargazer. We're just going to backtrack. That was a waste of time. I apologize, everybody. I just kind of figured we would go talk to that lady and be like, hey, we uh, cleared the way for you. But I guess not. He's gone as well. I wonder if we can get up there. Is there a ladder or anything? Nah. The Isle of Alchemists. According to the guide, Vanini visited that place. That's something, I guess. I don't think Vanini is a bad guy, but I'm still on the fence with him. Oh, hey, look, Fox and Black Cat. Ciao, Bello. It seems you and I share a strong connection. Ugh. Talking to an alchemist is like talking to a brick wall. That's also an alchemist. Brother, you should say hello to your friend. But it is true that we are in something of a bind. We're going to need to consult with our old friend. You got that right, sister. Our pal is sure to help us. We didn't behave that badly at his last shindig. I hope. A moment, please. My young brother here is slowly but surely losing his very sight, his windows to the world, to a terrible, slow-working illness. That is why I seek the gold coin fruit. It's set to work miracles, and do I ever need one. The alchemists give us just enough to keep him going, but not enough to cure, and never what they promised. We can't rely on those crucible-kissing wizards. Please, don't make me beg. He needs this. Besides, 
for a fellow who raided the Black Rabbit Brotherhood's den and walked out in one piece, it'll be as easy as eating your weight in bumbaloni. Please, the gold coin fruit is the only thing that helps. Uh, are you there? C can, can you hear me? Please, the gold coin fruit is the only thing that helps. Can you spare any? As a personal favor? Sure, why not? <gasps> we knew you were a true friend. And generous. <laughs> That's right. I liked you from the start, you know. Just had a feeling. If you felt otherwise, that wasn't me. <laughs> Ignore this one. When he gets excited or just feels happy, he gets chatty. But he really is grateful. We both are. On that note, I hate to borrow and run, but we have another request from the Alchemist to take care of, so we will be staying behind. You'll need to go on without us, so... I suppose this is farewell. I won't ever forget your kindness. Here. A small token, but it's a gift from the heart. Now go. Cool. We got a record and the begging email. Honestly, I didn't really expect you to bring us a damn thing, and yet... Thank you. Truly. I'm not saying I'm ready to set up housekeeping, or that I even trust you. <laughs> but given time, I think we could become actual friends. Honestly, I didn't... Re I never forget a friendly face. Now go. I still don't trust those guys. I want to find a stargazer. There we go. I want to try something. There's a couple of people we're going to have to go back to to talk to at the Hotel Crot. But I want to go over to the Path of the Pilgrim real quick.
over here. I know there's enemies, maybe. Over here. See if we can't pay our respect real quick. Or pay our respects, whatever. That didn't do anything. Does this? Nope. See if we can't do this. No. Alright, well, I was hoping that would do something, but I guess not. Let's go back to Hotel Krat, and then we will talk to a couple NPCs and end the video. I'll be listening to that off screen as usual. Let's talk to this lady. I'm afraid you saw my bad side at the Grand Exhibition. I was able to escape thanks to you. I didn't mean to be ungrateful. I'm a soldier from outside Krat. They sent us in pairs to investigate. I got trapped by the blockade and separated from my partner. I don't think the puppets are the only things at play here. Can I stay with you until I get in touch with my partner? I get the puppets, but what are the monsters doing here? What is happening to Krat? Who all was I supposed to talk to here? I think Paul and Dina. Lady Antonia has heard about the Grand Exhibition. She realizes their cure is meaningless. Her illness has worsened. Perhaps because she lost hope. I fear we might lose her soon. Lady Antonia cautions against it, to be sure. But I still believe that gold coin fruit is our last hope. I have heard about an alchemist who knows how to use that most miraculous of medicines. Please find a way to treat her. Maybe we will talk to the guy up top there as well. Jenny, I think, wants to talk to us as well. Will you do, um, me a favor? For once, it's not difficult or dangerous. Just... Give this to Alidoro. I'd give it to him myself, but he's in the barren swamp now. He'll understand the significance of this gift. I know. Just do this for me, and, and I'll be grateful. Four-fingered glove. I know my way around a weapon. Let's go up top, talk to the alchemist. How's the cure for the petrification disease coming along? Glad you asked. It's going well, thanks to you. Sadly, it cannot cure everyone completely. Victims who have progressed too far have already lost organ function, and there's no way to restore that. Even if we eliminate the petrification disease, they won't last long. Their passing might be less painful than petrification, though. Are you sure? I can make a cure, Mr. Stalker, but... I leave the choice to you. A longer but painful life, or a quicker but peaceful end. I'll make the cure if you give me one gold coin fruit.
The cure isn't exactly stable. Give it to the patient as soon as possible. In my opinion, I would want a quick and painless death. So let's go ahead and give that to Antonia. People have no idea. Thanks for keeping me. Okay, well, maybe we got to talk to Paulandina first. I believed in you. And my belief has been rewarded. She can be cured. It feels like a dream. The possibility of imminent death, though. Why won't pain ever leave her alone? I cannot make this choice. Every option is painful. I cannot know what's best for her. What would... What would you choose? Yes. I suppose ignoring her pain wouldn't be right. Thank you so much. No matter what happens, I will accept it. I will administer the medicine. Please accept this token of my gratitude. No matter what fate serving welcome. Try to talk to her one last time. Because I have a feeling she's gonna die. People have no thanks for keep. Let's rest at the stargazer, see what happens. Nothing. Um Oh, it's you. Come here. I've been in such a Good mood all day. I have a feeling I'll be in better shape in no time. Oh, and you better not underestimate me just because I'm not as spry as I used to be. I know you and Polandina are up to something. <laughs> Still, I haven't felt this happy in a while. Only kind people can give others this sort of happiness. I always treasure a day like today. <laughs> Thank you. People have no... No matter what fate serving welcome. Okay, I think that's... Um, one more time, let's rest. Sorry, I'm dragging this out, everybody. People have no idea. Okay, well, I guess that's all there is to it. Uh, at least for now. Right here is where we're going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean a lot to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.